Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do a decluttering. Now, I personally love watching these, you know, in, in your spare time, you know, eating your dinner and there's nothing to watch on the telly, put a decluttering on in the background. That's kind of what I do these days. So yeah, we're gonna be decluttering my lipsticks. I was pondering one day and I had a thought I've never gotten rid of any of my lipsticks as long as I've been collecting, I guess. So I think I'd, I should probably do that because I assume that some of them's probably gonna be like manky and horrible, so yeah. Oh, by the way, um, I did a look today, didn't film it because I thought, ah, oh, just play with makeup, it's fine, it won't turn out good or anything. Um, and I actually surprised that you, I really quite like it actually. Let me show you closer. If you like a tutorial on this look, uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below and I'll definitely do that. Um, I actually use my Beauty Bay and my Mitchell palette to achieve this look. And um, I'm always trying to do purple looks because I feel like purple looks terrible on me. It's just one of those colours that like emphasise how pale I am. Anyway, onto the video. Let's just jump right into the decluttering, I guess. So this is my lipstick drawer. I've got obviously like loads of nudes in this kind of area. I've got my glosses. I've got like reddish, reddishy purpley kind of tones, berry tones. And then I've got like my browns and greys, like those kind of tones. Um, you're probably thinking, lace. All you do is wear a nude lipstick. Why do you have so many other colours? Um, well, to answer that, I don't know why I have so many other colours. See them on other people and think that they look amazing on them and then they don't on me. So, yeah. You know, I am hoping that one day, if I get my teeth fixed, that I can wear these colours. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um... I'm thinking that maybe we should just go in with the colourful ones first because that's probably going to be the easiest. I have got my wet wipe here at the ready, um, so let's get our hands right on in. So okay, let's go in with the browns first, shall we? Um, so I've got this Morphe lipstick here in the shade Nibble. And I've actually not used this yet, but it's so nice that I don't think I want to give it up and it's like not gone funky or anything yet so I think I do want to keep and then I've got some of these NYX lingeries which I'm pretty sure are out of date yeah see the consistency's changed um so this one's in the shade what shade are you in exotic I used to love these lipsticks when I first started getting into makeup because they were cheap um liquid lipsticks were like all the rave back then and it was just a quick a really cheap alternative to like one of those high-end ones that I couldn't afford so um, I do recommend these like these were really nice for me to try but I think like once you get into the high end you're like mm, do I want to wear a NYX or do I do I want to wear Jeffree Star you know you have to weigh these options up um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one just because the formulas kind of gone a bit funky oh now I don't know if I can get rid of these um, dose of colours. This is in Campfire. I actually like this shade. It reminds me a little bit of another dose of colours shade that um, they collaborated with I Love Sari. Um, that shade there. It looks really nice and I can pull this off if I dab a little bit of light, like a, I don't know, like a nude in the middle. Um, so I can actually pull this off and I do. I, I really like the dose of colours. If you're interested in them, they are on Beauty Bay and they are amazing. And there's always offers on Beauty Bay. Or, you know, something like that, so. Sorry, I sound really, like, bunged up. It's because I have a cold. And I've just got over having the flu. So that's really fun. Um, I've also got this colour here um, in the ABH liquid lipsticks. In Allison, I think I've used this once, but I do like my ABH lipsticks. I mean, look at that colour. It is really nice. And honestly... I find like these liquid lipsticks last long. I know, it, I think, it, how long does it say on there? 
six months, but I'm pretty sure I've had this longer than six months and the formula still feels nice. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Now, I got this in a Beauty Bay package. It was like a freebie. So this is in Coloured Rain in Mars, I think. Well, I liked it because I um, Nikki Tutorials used it in one of her tutorials. By the way, shout out to Nikki Tutorials. I mean, wow. Anyway. Yeah, this one, it's really tricky to try and get a decent swatch and it's gotten kind of thick. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Uh, and I don't think I, I think I've probably used it once because like I said, Nikki Tutorials use it. And I thought, well, it's good enough for Nikki, good enough for me. <laughs> But yeah, it didn't actually look too good on me. <laughs> Here I have a Lime Crime uh, liquid lipstick in Shroom. And I love the consistency of these. They're quite, like, quite watery. But, like, they're still quite opaque. Um, so, would I personally use this on me? Probably not a great deal, but I probably would mix it in with something to try and make it like a deeper nude. Just because that's kind of how I do my like autumnal makeup. Like instead of doing really light nudes, I'll do like a dark nude. And I have used this once where I've dabbed it and then dabbed a light nude on top and it makes like a darker nude. I know I could just use a darker nude to begin with, but you know, gotta use what you got. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this one because the consistency is still good and I haven't actually bought it that long ago. Here I have an LA Splash liquid lipstick in Latte. I think this is quite cool toned. And yes, the consistency has gone a very thick and very chunky. But there's the colour there. It's kind of like a, ooh, like a purpley grey tone. So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Here I have some Kylie Cosmetics. I don't have a lot of Kylie Cosmetics, but it's just because it's a pain in the backside to get. Um, but I do actually like her consistency in her products. Um, this is in the shade Exposed. I got this one because I saw Kylie use it and it was, looked like the perfect nude. Obviously, that's not a nude for me. That's, like I said, like a brown nude. But I do like these and they were a pain in the backside to get. Plus shipping, so I am probably going to keep all of her liquid lipsticks. Another one in Dolce K. I think I was just going for a bit of a phase where I wanted to find the best nude from her line for me. Um, because obviously online swatches is a bit tricky when they're all of Kylie. And she's obviously quite tan. You know, so yeah, it's hard to kind of get a grasp a grip of what nude shade is best for you. Um but that's that shade there. It's quite a nice brown. I actually I do actually quite like this for um autumn. Autumn? Autumn. <laughs> Um, just do another Kylie. So the other Kylie I got is Malibu. Now I really like this one. It's not like super nude, but it's like a, a greyish nude, and I quite like it. Yeah, no, I like that one. If you can see it, it's not like the darkest of browns there, but it's definitely on the spectrum. What should I go with now? Oh, this is my next soft matte li lipstick in London. Now I used to love these, but obviously I need to get new ones of these because these are old AF. Here's the swatch there. Lovely colour, but yeah, um, the formula's got a bit manky, so I'll have to grab a new one of them. But I definitely rate them, they are good. Um, here we've got a uh, Jeffree Star. I'm most probably gonna keep all of these because I went on a bit of a binge buy a couple months ago and I literally just bought loads of Jeffree lipsticks, you know? Um, so this is in Gemini, and running out of space on my part on my hand. Now that is really nice. It's it is a bit more on the berry brown, but I quite like it. Like for me, this is a bold lipstick for me. Like I know it sounds ridiculous, but this is a bold lipstick for me personally, which is really silly. But that's just how it is with really pale skin. Um, I've also got Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin, also big fan of this one as well. It is more like a nude brown, but a brown nonetheless, and even a nude on some people. So 
I like this. I actually really recommend the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Their consistency is really nice. Like, not too thick, not too watery. Um, also another Jeffree Star lipstick in Leo. Which one do you think this was going to be similar to? Over here? So this one is more of a brown. This one's kind of similar to this Kylie. Kylie lipstick here. Oh, it would be helpful if I was in the frame. Kind of similar to this Kylie lipstick here, as you can see. But that's the Jeffree Star one, that's the Kylie one. So, yeah, I like this one. I, If I was to go for a bold lipstick, honestly, I'd probably go for more of a brownish, brownish berry, rather than a red. But, oh, but the reds, whenever I see a red on a model or something, it just looks so nice. And I try it on me, and I look like the Joker, it's ridiculous. Um, this is a MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Burnt Spice. I really like these. Let's see, where can I fit you? On here? Oh, these feel nice. They feel really nice. And they wear quite nicely on the lips, although they can feel a little bit thick. Just a little bit thick, but if you can handle that in a liquid lipstick, then... Yeah, you do you, but I, as long as it's not too thick and too matte, I don't mind it, but these don't go too, I don't feel that they go on me too matte, or if they do, I just bung a lip gloss on personally, or just put extra lip balm on, um, but yeah, I'm going to be keeping that one, um, Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick, it's a little mini one, um, and this one's in Bombshell, let's have a looky here. I think this one's supposed to be a nude, but I don't think there's a nude on me somehow. No, see, that's not a nude on me. Definitely more of the orange tone brown. But still a brown nonetheless for me. More like a terracotta. Terracotta kind of brown. Um, so here I've got the Dose of Colours uh, liquid lipstick in cork. I've got a feeling I'm going to end up keeping all of my Dose of Colours because I like them so much. Like... She's got loads of colours, literally loads of colours. Um, but yeah, that one's quite a nice... Oh, I've just touched something. That one's quite a nice colour there. Obviously more of like your orange brown there. That one. Um, but still, nice brown. You guys are probably thinking you're keeping way too many browns for somebody who only wears nude. And you're probably right, but you know, I like makeup and I'm not ashamed of that. Another dose of colours in the shade Brick. I think this one's more of like a reddish brown. Oh yes. Oh. oh. That one's nice. All right, I'm running out of arm space. That one's really nice. I like that one a lot. Would I class that more of a red or more of a brown though? I might keep it in the brown drawer. I think the brown drawer's going to be a little bit empty after this. I am keeping that one. That one is beautiful. That's more of a bold colour I would personally go for. Um, here's another dose of colours in Plum Queen. There's Plum Queen there. Oh, that's nice. Don't you think? Oh, nice vampy like purple. Why is it in my browns? That's not a brown, that's a purple. Um, that is a purple. I don't know what it's doing in my brown drawer. I guess I was slightly deluded that day. Um, but I I quite like that. Oh man, I'm not going to get rid of any of these. It's going to be so impossible for me to get rid of any of these, I tell you. Um, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> Let me see, I'm doing a crap job of getting rid of things. Here's another one in mood. But to pre-warn you, I did say I probably wouldn't get rid of any of my dose of colours. Oh, that one's nice too. Oh, that one's like a hybrid between, was it Plum Queen and, what was the other one I had? Plum Queen and Brick. That's like a hybrid. I like that. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Yes, I am keeping that. That is beautiful. It's like they had a baby together. This one's a chocolate wasted. Now, I saw this on a model and thought, man, that looks good on her. What was I thinking? I was thinking, oh, well, it's obviously going to look lovely on me. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, can I get rid of it? Probably not, because I paid a decent amount of money for it. And expected it to look good on me. Um, but yeah, it's like a really deep chocolate brown. Well, 
You never know, if I get my teeth sorted, I'll be able to wear these colours, I'd hope. <laughs> Go. Right, down to the reds. Let's do it. Um, the first one here I've got is a sleek matte me. I started gravitating towards all the sleek liquid lipsticks was because um somebody I watched on YouTube called Rachel Leary um used these all the time and I was I used to watch like all of her like I still do watch her videos but she I would watch all of her videos like on repeat. There's that colour there, quite a nice bright red shade, quite lightweight, but still a very um, opaque red. I feel like I should get rid of it because I don't wear it very well, like, at all, um, but oh, I'm going to keep it. I know I shouldn't. I mean, if I find a better red than that, then I'll get rid of it. Easy. I've got a red here, but this is more of like a berry red. It's called Tulip from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Here's the colour. That is a really nice red. I like it because it's more deeper. I like the worst that's watching. I do quite like that red. And Anastasia, I think you can always kind of rely on those liquid lipsticks. Okay. I'll get rid of the sleek and I'll keep the Anastasia. So I've got a feeling I put this one in here because it's a berry toned. Um, this is Posy K by Kylie. Now some would say that is a nude lipstick for some people. Um, that's obviously that's obviously um a tad dark, but it's more like a, a deep pink um which is still lovely it's actually quite a lovely pink um i think i'll keep that one uh here we've got another anastasia and heathers it took me so long to get this one because it was constantly out of stock i could actually put that in the brown couldn't i um, yeah, I quite like that one. That one's really nice, but I think it's more of a brown red, so I'm going to put this in the brown. Um, here I have Huda Beauty. I can never say it right. I say Huda Beauty, but I don't think that's right. Um, in liquid lipstick in Mamacita. Now their formula, Huda Beauty's formula, is quite watery and super matte. I haven't bought this one that long ago either. See, I don't know why I buy these shades. But, oh, it's so pretty. But I'm not going to wear it, am I? No. So, let's just get rid of it. I've got another ABH liquid lipstick in Vintage. That's a really nice purple shade. And I don't have a great deal of purple shades. So, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it. A Kylie Cosmetics one in a boy buy. I think it's more like a grey tone. Yeah, so it's more grey tone, more cool tone. But it's still quite wearable for me, I reckon. But I don't think it should be in with the berries. I don't see berry in it at all, so I'm going to put it back in the rounds. Um, here I have another um, sleek matte me in... Vino Tinto, Vino Tinto, and I saw Rachel Leary wear it, and I thought it looked really nice on her, so I thought it'd look good on me, but... Now, I think this one's quite similar to the ABH one there. My tummy's rumbling. But I think that one's more opaque than the Vino Tinto shade with Sleek, so I think I'm going to get rid of the Sleek. Here I have a NYX Copenhagen. I saw someone on Instagram wear this shade and thought they looked lovely, so I bought it. This one's quite similar to that sleek shade here, as you can tell, um, but I'm pretty sure it's on the verge of go like off, being off. I think I'm gonna keep the next one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's not quite off yet. 
So I think I'm going to try and use it until I think it's gone like gross. Um, here I've got a Lime Crime in Teddy Bear. This one's more of cool toned as well. Obviously I've been for a bit of a cool toned look um, at some point in my life. Um, but that one is a really nice colour though. Like I said, cool toned but it comes in handy for when like the cool tone phase comes in because there's always one part of the year where cool toned is like acceptable. <laughs> So I, I quite like that look. I quite like that lipstick. Here I have NYX in Milan. Yeah, that one's gone really chunky and thick. The colour is quite, I think, Barbie pink. So I probably won't gravitate towards that usually. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Here we have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. I saw Han, Han Renee use this and I thought it looked really nice on her. And I haven't that long ago bought it, but that is a really nice red. I think I'm gonna keep that red because I haven't used, I haven't, I think I've used it once. And it's, it's a really nice, nice red. So I'm gonna try and wear that more often. Um, so I've got those of colours in Talk is Chic. Oh, See, if I was to wear a pink, I'd wear this kind of pink. This is a pink that I'd gravitate towards. More deeper, more berry. I think that is a really, really nice colour. I think I'm going to keep this one. And the consistency, consistency is still really good. Ah, this is what I was talking about, the Dose of Colours and I Love Sari, is it? Yeah, I think this is from the I Love Sari collection, it's in Freezer? Freezer? Fre Fre Freesha? I don't know. Oh, That's a really nice pink, uh, nice pinky toned red. And I am going on holiday soon, so maybe I should take some of these colours with me and actually use them. My fingers are going red. <laughs> Um, so the next colour I'm going to go in with is Bury Me Too. Now, these were so tricky to get a hold on. The Bury Me and the Bury Me Too. Actually, my boyfriend got them for me. After, like, months of stalking them online and, like, seeing when they'll be available and everything. So, I mean, I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. But, yeah, this is the Bury Me Too. Like, isn't that like a cute colour? Like, that's a cute colour, right? I'm just persuading you to agree with me so that I don't have to get rid of it. Um, but that's a really nice colour. I actually quite like that. It's not too purple. Then I said, whoa, she's wearing purple. Um, here I've got Bohemian by ABH. It was like a little mini that you got because you spent a certain amount, so you get a little gift. Um, and this one's more of a brown. Why is it in my red pile? That is definitely a brown. A nice brown, but it's definitely brown and it shouldn't be in my ready berry colours. So here we go. I don't think I had that many browns, but obviously they've all been hiding with my reds. I've got Bury Me and here it is next to Bury Me 2. I am more of a fan of Bury Me than Bury Me 2 just because I like... This has got more of a berry tone, whereas it's got more of a purple tone, in my opinion. So I'm going to keep keep it anyway. Um, here I have Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. Oh, I tried for months to get my hands on this and it was just always out of stock. I think it's quite a wearable reddish brown. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep that one. I like that one. I'm not making much progress here. I don't know if you can gather, but you know, they're still nudes. Um, here I've got my MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in High Drama. Formula's got a bit funky on this one. Oh yeah, that formula's gone really manky. I saw Shay Mitchell wearing this in a picture that she put on Instagram. It looked amazing on her, but mine's gone a bit funky, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And the last one in the tray is Merlot from Dose of Colours. Yeah, that one's going to have to go. Right, so these are... The Ready Berry Shades. Oh, 
Um, so moving on to the nudes. Here I've got Peachy by Dose of Colours. I think this is also the Olasari collab. And I quite like this one. It's more of an orangey nude. So I'm going to keep that one. That one's still really nice. Here I've got my Fenty Beauty Unbutton Liquid Lipstick. That one's just straight up nude. And I love that. So this is a lipstick, but it was too big to put in my liquid lipstick. Uh, in my normal lipstick tray. But isn't that a nice colour? That's from Dose of Colours. Uh, I'm not getting rid of it because it's really pretty. So I'm not getting rid of it. Here I've got a white. Now I uh, I think this is a central. A central? A central for anyone who is pale that spends a lot of money on makeup and nude lipsticks aren't ever very nude so this is like a must have for pale people a must have so I'm not getting rid of that sorry but no I use that on near enough a daily basis not gonna lie um next we're gonna go in with a bear oh bear with me I used to love this shade all the time this one's from Dosa Colours. Oh, and it's quite decent still. Oh, how do I forget about these nudes? That is a nice nude. I like that. I'm keeping it. How do I forget about these? How do I forget about these people? <laughs> how do I forget about these shades? Here is Let's Cuddle. This one's not very old, so he should be fine. Oh, I like that one. That one's nice. I you do. I'm gonna end up keeping all these nudes, aren't I? So, I like that one, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay, here I've got ABH Stripped. Oh, this one's more of a deeper nude, but I kind of like it. That's nice. Um, here I've got Supernatural from Dose of Colours. Oh, <gasps> why don't I use these shades very often? Huh? That is beautiful is the Dose of Colours Pure Hollywood. Do you remember when everyone and like their mothers was wearing this? Like every tutorial I watched, everyone was wearing Pure Hollywood. It is a bit of like a, dark, a darker nude on me, but still quite a nice classic. So I think I've just got to keep that one. Um, here I've got Naked. Like Naked is like my go-to liquid lipstick. So I very much doubt, no, see, that's like perfect for my skin tone. I'm not getting rid of that. Don't be silly. Here I've got Jeffree Star in I'm Nude. Now this is also a classic lacy nude. Perfect. Okay, this is getting slightly harder than I anticipated. Here I've got a Huda Booty in Bikini Babe. I think this one's more of like an orangey. That's so watery. That's one thing I don't like about that liquid lipstick. Oh, it's so similar to that one which one is that i think that's a dose of colors one no it's not yes it is no it's not it's that abh color it's so similar to that abh color i'm just gonna get rid of it here i've got abh crush i think this was more of a pinky nude yeah still a nice nude though more uh purpley in um in undertone but still quite nice here i've got nyx soft mac in Cairo, this used to be like my go-to nude back in the day. Um, it has gone quite moussey, so the consistency has gone a bit weird. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. But that is a nice nude for somebody who's pale, you know, struggling to find lipstick. That one's good and it's cheap. Yeah, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in what shade are you? Driver. That one's quite a nice nude. And it might come in handy if I do like an all drugstore makeup look. So I think I'm going to keep that one. All right, I think this one's a dose of colours with um, Desi and Katie. This is a mauve story. Now, I don't know if it should be in my nudes. Oh, I don't know. It's quite similar to that crush from ABH, isn't it? Love the consistency of that one. Very close in shade with that crush from ABH. So if you've got that shade... You probably don't need this one, but I mean, you know, who am I to judge, really, honestly? This one from Ofra, 
in Sao Paulo. I think this is the only Ofra one I own. So I think I'm probably going to end up keeping this one just because I like Ofra. Ofra's, Ofra's good people. I don't know the people, but I'm sure they're good people. Um, in that beautiful shade. Lovely shade. I gotta keep it. I've literally got rid of like two nudes. So it doesn't say much about me. It's gonna be like a fail decluttering because I'm not actually gonna end up decluttering anything at this rate. Here I've got the NYX lingerie in lace detail. Oh my god, I used to wear this shade all the time. Like all the time without a gloss on top, which probably was a mistake because they, they are quite drying. But you can probably see why. I wore it all the time. How, what is the expiry date on this? 18 months. I'm pretty sure I've had it longer than 18 months. But isn't that a beautiful shade? You know what? Because it's not gone funky yet, I think I might keep that and try and use the rest of it up because it's not got much left in it. So I'm going to try and use that one up. I think it looked a lot prettier with a gloss on top on it. Here I've got... Who are you? Rimmel? You look like Rimmel, yeah. Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in... Latte to go. Oh, I bought this because Amy Macedo on YouTube, she wears this one actually all the time and it looks banging on her. Like, in that good nude? Here I've got Mac, I got two Kairos. Oh, that's because this one has none in it. Why did I do that? Right, that was gonna go in the bin. Um, here's Jarrod Cosmetics um, Hydra Matte in nude. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, honestly. I think I've used it once in my whole entire life. It's that one there. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't use it. Here I've got Mannequin in Jeffree Star. Like in that nice, like transitioning from like spring to autumn. Is it spring to autumn? Wait, spring? No, summer to autumn. I got my seasons wrong. Summer to autumn. Wouldn't that be like a nice transition shade from then? I think that, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that basically. I'm just telling you, I'm just gonna keep it. Here I've got, maybe it's Maybelline in the shade Loyalist. Now it looks really pink in the packaging, but like the Dofa is like more, more nude. Oh my gosh, that's a nice nude. Why don't I use these very often? That is a very nice nude. I'm just letting you know, that is very nice. I'm gonna have to keep that. Here I've got another um, Gerald Cosmetics and Bear It All. I think this one's deeper. Yeah, not vibing with it. Here I've got, I've got another driver. I've got another driver from Maybelline. How did I not realize I had two? But wait, this one looks different. This one looks more like brown. Hang on, what does this one look like? Is that why I bought another one? Because it looked a bit funky? Oh my gosh, these are two completely different shades, yet they're both called driver. Like, look, that one definitely looks more sandy. And that one looks more brown. Right, well, I'm gonna obviously keep the lighter one and get rid of the one that's gone dark. I don't know why it's gone dark. Here I've got Sleek in Birthday Suit again. Rachel Leary, I watched her like all the time and she uses and I thought it looked so good on her. Obviously she wears a tan, so that's why it looks so good on her. I mean, that is a nice shade. For like a deeper nude. I'm actually gonna keep it. I'm actually gonna keep it. That was a nice, that's a nice deeper nude. Here I've got Truffle from Dose of Colours. Again, a nice transition shade for the summer to autumn, so I quite like that. It's got a hint of purple in it as well, which is quite, quite nice. Um, here I've got Sand. Now, if you were here when I first started my YouTube channel, this is literally like the early liquid lipstick that I used. And you could probably see why. I mean, that liquid lipstick, Perfect. By the way, if you want any like proper swatches on any of these lipsticks, let me know and I'll do like a lip swatch video if that's what you're into. Um, I used to always watch like um, Shanexo, all of her lip swatch videos. I heard that they hurt because you know, liquid lipsticks, but you know, I'm willing to do that if that's what you want. Um, I've got another sand. It must have been because one the other one's running out, so I got a backup. So I've got two sands, so obviously I don't want to get rid of them. Here I've got a Kylie Cosmetics in Coco K. I've got a feeling this one isn't going to be my cup of tea. Now that's a lovely pink shade, but I think I've already keeping 
kept a pinky shade from Kylie Cosmetics, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Here's a bear from Kylie again. I think this is actually one of the ones I do like. Hey, we got one that I like. No, I think I actually, yeah, I do like this nude shade from Kylie Cosmetics. It took me forever to find a nude shade, honestly. But I'm going to keep that one because that was good. Here we got another NYX one in Bedtime Flirt. Oh, the consistency's gone a little bit chunky. I think I might just get rid of that one. Here is my second Too Faced liquid lipstick in my whole entire body. And it's called Child Star. Now I did like this one. Yeah, it's just very it's just quite greyish. Um so it's not like sand from Dosa Colours, but you know, it's still quite a nice type of nude, just with a different undertone. So I'm gonna keep that one just for a different variety of undertones. Here I've got OPV. Now I love the shade of this. It is amazing. Like in that shade, like a bit of me. I just thought with like a, a, a darker nude lip liner, that in the middle, lipstick, uh, lip gloss on, it would look so good. But how they feel on your lips, they feel really, really thick. Like I can handle some thick lipsticks, but this feels like literally like you could peel it off your lips. So, and I even had a gloss on top of it and I know it wasn't the gloss because I only have a small selection of glosses because I have trust issues with glosses. Um, but it was a gloss that I trusted, we'll just say that. So it had to be this lipstick. It just felt so thick and like literally I could like peel it off like a sticker. Like that's what it felt like. Like it just didn't feel good. So I wouldn't recommend these lipsticks. Um, here I've got Morphe in Virgin. I bought this because, you know, Jaclyn Hill talked about it ages ago. So I bought it and I forgot about it. So it's in the back of my drawer. But that is a nice shade. That is a nice shade, isn't it? Fine, I'll keep it. <sighs> I'm not making much progress. Well, I have got rid of quite a few lipsticks. You know what? I'm actually looking at this Berry Me Too. And I think I actually might get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of it. I like I like the Berry Me for the first one. So I'm just going to keep that one. Um, here I've got Anastasia in Naked. I'm pretty sure this is my second Naked because I really like Naked. Yeah, this is my second naked, so obviously it's a sign from up above that I need to keep it. Here I've got Kylie Cosmetics in Penelope. Now I like this colour. For spring, this colour is beautiful. Like if you put like a really nude, nude colour on your lips and like dab this in, it just gives it that, gives it that like really nice peachy pink tint to it. That's what I tend to do. So I'm going to keep that one for spring, just, literally just for spring, literally. Here I have Libra from Kylie, and this one's actually quite nice because it is very nude. Cool toned, but nude nonetheless, um, which I quite like for winter. So I'm going to keep that one. And the last nude is Malibu. Oh, I don't know, I could probably get rid of it to be honest. I mean, that's quite grey toned. I'm going to get rid of it. Let's put them back in. Right, so as you can see, this is the organisation of my liquid lipsticks. I'm a lot happier that they're not overflowing out of their container. These are the liquid lipsticks I'm getting rid of, so... Not done too bad. So guys, that was my decluttering. Um, we got rid of a few liquid lipsticks, okay? So yeah, we got we got we got rid of a few things, didn't we? I mean so yeah. I'm gonna take my makeup off because I can't deal with being able to see my spots. I don't know what's going on with my skin, but I've literally I've I've I'm up to my breaking point right now. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this decluttering with me video. Feel free to give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you thought. I was gonna say thought of the look. Thought of the video. Any more suggestions? Uh, do you want a tutorial on this look? Let me know. And also, sneak peek. This just came in the post.
post. So, I mean, if you want to look using this baby, let your girl know. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And oh, wait, subscribe, please. I forgot to mention that. Please subscribe. Um, we're nearly at 800, so boyfriend's on this motorbike and it's very noisy. Please feel free and subscribe. Please, please, please. I know I'm begging, but please. You know, I'm, I'm going through enough issues at the minute, okay? Subscribe. So yeah, until next time, it'll either be a tutorial on this eye look or with the new palette that I've got. Who knows? Um, but yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Bye.